Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks to all of the witnesses for being here. Uh, before, uh, I, I want to visit with you, Ms. Meske, but before I do, I just want to clear one thing up. Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important Because of my us, line of questioning? Because so we can't talk about it? Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist I'm denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think women can <laughs> so get pregnant. So you are denying that trans people exist? Like and that leads to violence? Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that to they're at, opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned a you, lot just I know. in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Yep. Um, uh, um, listen, um, when it comes to people talking about women's rights, rights to abortion and all that stuff, you know, we can't say women's rights anymore because it offends a lot of people because there's like people born, they were male, they were born as a male and now they want to live their life and be seen as a female so now they're a woman because you know women have been historically um, adult females so it's offensive so there are women who are males there are women who um, not women you know what let me stop women's rights it's no longer a thing because it's offensive to the trans community. So what we need to say is female rights, adult female rights, because all the people she's talking about, cis women, because she's using that term, cis women, uh, trans men, non-binary people who can have, you know, the, they have the capacity to be pregnant. These are all females however they identify socially. Man, woman, binary, non-binary, goat, cat, whatever. But at the end of the day, we're talking about biological females. So women's rights are out now. There's no longer women's rights because the, the word woman is offensive to anybody who, who I don't know, is offended by me who calls my I call myself a woman because I'm a female an adult human female but there are adult human human females who don't call themselves women and there are women who are not adult human females so the word woman now they like the males took it males took males who want they took the word woman like they had trans women and we had women but now they took trans women and women, so we cannot call ourselves women without being transphobic or asking, why, why are you, we're transphobic. So now I'm gonna say adult human females. All these people this professor was talking about are adult human females. So now it's not women's rights anymore, it's adult human females' rights. And if you don't agree with that, nah. they're all females, biological females, you know what I'm saying? No, you don't know what I'm saying? So, okay. All right, whatever. That's my take. And bye-bye.